You know what? It's fall. It's seasonal. We're going to be making a lovely squash and apple soup with David Robertson of the Dirty Apron. We're going to learn all about the brand new cookbook. Stand by for deliciousness. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just a wonderful segue, and that deserves a chick to beat down, Shimona. All right, they're playing uh, some Dirty Diana back at the station. We're at the Dirty Apron with David Robertson, author of the Dirty Apron Cookbook. Wonderful establishment here. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Good. There are, uh, what, 80 <coughs> recipes in the uh, in the book? 80 recipes, a lot of tips and tricks, a lot of little snippets, and just how to bring that whole meal together. Beautiful and wonderful photos. And one of the uh, recipes, just in time for fall, is squash and apple soup, yes. which we're making right now. I'm stirring it. And uh, what goes into that? Oh, yeah, uh, we so got we're going to start. Oil. We got some good olive oil. Okay. And uh, Thor, grab that spatula right over right. there. There you go. That's sort of the sound you want to hear when you oh, get to cooking. That's wonderful. And don't underestimate the power of a good soup, too. Okay. And, 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 I, I never do. <laughs> <laughs> and the key, the key to that too is basically sautéing. So a lot yes. of people don't sauté enough. So we got some shallots, but we you got some garlic in there. Don't want to have the oil to the point where it's smoking and it's gonna, it's gonna burn everything right away, right? That's right. And so you don't want it sticking on you also. So as we sauté that in there. Mm. We're developing all the flavor, and this mm. is where the shallots, you know that strong, raw flavor? Yeah. We're getting rid of that, that sort now. of brings tears to your eyes when you're cutting it. It does, yeah, right? Yeah. So people want to cook that out, so you get the sweetness of the onions, that roasted flavor with the garlic. Yeah. And then in comes the apple, so we gave the shallots and garlic a little bit of a head start Lovely. there. Lovely. Those and go the, in uh, there. the aromatic uh, co-mingling right now is just uh, exquisite. <laughs> it's yeah, very good, yeah. OK, and uh, these have been roasted, obviously? Roasted, tossed in maple. Okay. Little maple. Oh, syrup, beautiful. olive oil, yeah, salt, yeah. and pepper. So let's get that in there so all those right. are ready to go. And we can kind of stir all that together there. Look at that action. Okay, we're almost out of time, but uh, it's going to basically look like the uh, saucepan right next to it in uh, this finished product, right? Yeah, so we would then add a little bit of cream, some white wine and stock to that, and then puree it. Okay. And then we have the pureed version. Go ahead and plate it for and uh, Jody and Riaz. And the then station. what we're going to do is we basically take that, Ooh. basically... In it goes. Oh, look how thick it is. Try not to get it on the rim. Oh, on the rim. Oh, Darn it. That's I tried okay. not to. That's what and then you can always just serve a little bit of olive oil. Oh, look at on this the guy. Top. With a drizzle. A little bit of cream down the middle, some fresh herbs, and oh. that's your soup. Good to go. go. Bam. You guys, I wish it was smell vision because it is delightful here. We got more stuff coming up with the Dirty Apron. You know it, people. We're doing Arctic Char for breakfast. David Robertson of The Dirty Apron. You've got The Dirty Apron Cookbook, which is a wonderful new book with 80 recipes in it. One of them is the Arctic Char. Now, the first question, yeah. what is the difference between char and, say, salmon and trout? Yeah, uh, good question. So if salmon and trout went on a date, yeah. char would be their baby. Okay, uh, that's nice. That's the best way to remember. All okay? right. So a little in between. Very similar flavor. Yeah. Arctic char, beautiful, delicate flavor. Very yeah. nice. So you've got the pan sizzling away, yeah. and you want to go skin side down first skin to get a nice down. crispy coating. You got everybody loves crispy skin, not soggy skin. Right, of so what we're doing is we're getting that nice and crispy, and I've been cooking that mm, for a good. good minute. And watch this. When we flip that over, you're gonna continue. Look at that oh, crispiness. Kabam. Then I turn the heat off, Thor. Go ahead, throw in that lemon. I love this. This there is gonna go. sound great. And yeah, <laughs> there we go. Now we're cooking. That's what we want. Butter. Can't go wrong with butter. Butter makes everything better. Now, where locally is the best, or a couple good places to get fresh fish like this? Develop a good relationship with a good fishmonger. Of course. Okay. Same when it comes to cooking meats. You know, know where your food's coming from. Right. Arctic char available fresh all year. Okay. Available oh, in Vancouver, good. so yeah. it's good fish to get. All right. Uh, nice to cook with. And don't be afraid when you're cooking this way, that high heat there. Of okay. course, yeah, yep. don't be intimidated because you need to keep it skin side down for about a minute, right? If you want that crispy coating. Oh, there you go. And then we like to just bathe it in the butter. But then also, where, what do I say if I want to get a beautiful piece of fish like that? Ask for a center cut of fish. Center cut. Center cut of fish, so yeah. you're not getting it from the belly, you're okay. not getting it from the tail, and you'll get an easier, more proportioned fish to cook. Bam! Beautiful! Yeah. We're going to finish this dish, Michelle, coming up in a little bit with the Arctic char. We're going to have some wonderful vegetables with it. This is gorgeous, I'm telling you. It looks great. I think you found your new catchphrase. Ka kabam. And coming up, we're going to be finishing our Arctic char, and we're going to be adding some vegetable nage. We'll explain what that is coming up. Stick around.
That's right. Thanks a lot, you guys. And we are at the Dirty Apron. We're downtown on Beatty Street between Dunsmere and Pender. And you know what? You can come in here, and uh, it's a cooking school, but it's also a wonderful delicatessen where you can come in and get some lunch and all kinds of great stuff, have some, uh, have some laughs. And the Dirty Apron cookbook yeah. is what we're uh, talking about today as well, full of great recipes. And one of them, David, is the Arctic char, which we uh, sizzled a little bit earlier, and we're going to yeah. be finishing that off. And we're making a vegetable nage. Yeah, so nage is basically the beautiful vegetables. Go ahead. Yeah, throw that. This makes okay. it the nage. This is a saute of garlic, white wine stock, cream and butter, all the locale stuff, of course. <laughs> <laughs> some friends cooking for you there. There you go. And then we're going to hit that with some tarragon. That's Woo! some fresh herbs and really bring out the flavor. And then throw, go ahead, put that in the bowl. We're going to plate this together too. So you get all those beautiful vegetables in there. Those we finished steaming. We got beets, fingerling potatoes, asparagus. People can make up their own zucchini, oh, tomato, wow. whatever. And you want to boil it so it's nice and vibrant in color and not overcooked, right? Exactly. You want your vegetables to have a little bit of body and crunch to them. Okay. And that is actually going to go in there. And that fish that we've we got that nice crispy sear on earlier is we're going to put that on. We want to serve it skin side up so we have that beautiful crispy skin. We don't want it to get side. That looks great. Oh, there you nice. go. There you go. So that, Look at that. goes right on top. Ooh. And there you go, and you can just put a few of those little greens, little microgreens. The microgreens, which we actually grow here, right? We do. We have a little urban cultivator, so we grow those. Those are arugula, a little olive oil on top. Oh, how do you like me now? <laughs> nice job. Okay, we're going to be doing dessert in the final segment coming up a little bit later. We're the Dirty Apron all morning long making some delicious fall food. All right, guys, we're at Dirty Apron. We've got one more segment coming up. We're going to be doing the Dirty Twixter Bar. Yes, indeed. All right, I've got my sandbox right now of brown sugar and uh, shortbread, and we're going to be making these delicious bars. Don't go anywhere. That's right, yes, we're at the Dirty Apron, and we are uh, learning all about the wonderful stuff. Earlier, we had uh, the squash and apple soup. We had Arctic char with uh, vegetable nage, and now we're going to be doing a dessert. These are all recipes from the wonderful Dirty Apron cookbook by chef and owner David Robertson. Right now, though, we're talking to Kat. You're the pastry chef here, right? I am. All right, now we had the... Um, Brown sugar shortbread, which yes. you did so diligently push in. <laughs> Thank you. Dulce de leche, which I spread. You're going to put some fleur de sel on there like a pro. Okay, so chef. that's this is the next layer on top of the uh, the shortbread. Absolutely. Okay, just a little smattering of uh, fleur de sel here, just to give a little savory, right? A little you bit more? It. Now we're going to make a ganache out of this caramel. Oh, my goodness. And these two chocolates. So All right. I'm going to pour it down. I'll get ready to pulse, baby. <laughs> wow. So just give it a little... You're um, very excited today. I love cooking. <laughs> Okay. Go ahead. Well, I was thinking maybe you want to do a little bit of a stir first. Okay, why don't you do that? And then I will add the salt. Okay. And the vanilla. Oh, look at that vanilla paste, I know, right? Vanilla paste. Okay. And give it a stir first. Oh, it smells wonderful. And so then. So there's two kinds of chocolate and two kinds of caramel, essentially, in the dirty Twixter bar. You bet. Which is a combination. You're you're essentially capturing the best of Twix and Score bars. And that's why it's so yummy. Okay. So you're gonna melt. This is gonna melt because of the heat of the caramel. Yep. You're oh, going to burr this that. all together. You move it around the best you can. And all you have to do after that is pour it over that dulce de leche. Okay. We let it rest in the fridge to set. Normally, we would uh, do it a bit longer, but because of time, we'll just pour it in now. I'll let you do that. All right. And then when it sets, you put the salt over it okay. in a small, thin line. Just a little bit of kabam there. Yeah. There we go. And then you could taste it and tell me what it tastes like. Okay, I will. This is the best <laughs> part, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I know, right? Dude! Best selling bar at the Dirty Apron, dude! Come on in. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kat. Awesome stuff. David, come on in one more time. Yeah. It's the best selling cookbook in Canada right now. That's you right. Must be really proud. Super proud. The whole team put together at the Dirty Apron. We're really excited about it. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I got, I'm sorry. The book is worth that. <laughs> All right. The book is worth that. Thanks a lot. We're bringing bars back to the station. We've got Russ coming up. Uh, weather with Russ coming up. Don't go anywhere, people. Mm-mm. Awesome.